Hi everyone, our today's question is non-overlapping intervals. So the question says, given a collection of intervals, find the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. All right, so the question is pretty clear. We just have to remove those intervals that are overlapping with the other intervals in the list, but we want to make sure that the number of intervals we remove is the minimum possible. So for example, here you have 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 3. So as we can see, 1, 2 and then 2, 3, 3, 4. These are three non-overlapping intervals. But 1, 3 overlaps the first two intervals, that is 1, 2 and 2, 3. And that's why we just remove 1, 3 and that gives us a, a list of the intervals which are non-overlapping. Okay. The next example is about the same intervals, so we will have to remove two of them to have just the one left, which is no more overlapping with the remaining ones. And then we have 1, 2 and 2, 3, so these are non-overlapping already, so we did, do not need to remove any of them. All right, so uh, this question is currently being asked by Facebook, Google and Amazon, all three companies, so it's a pretty important one and you must go through this. All right, so um, um, this question does have some kind of similarity with meeting rooms too. Uh, I've already created a video on the same. You can find that in the description below. So uh, typically meeting rooms too has got a more complex requirement because you need to find out the number of rooms, the minimum number of rooms that are required to hold all the meetings. Uh, here we just want to remove the intervals to make all of them non-overlapping. So what we will do is that typically with any interval question, as I have stated in the other videos in this playlist, is that we need to make sure if the input is already sorted. If yes, is it sorted on the start or the end time? If it is not sorted, we need to figure out what do we need to sort it on. There are multiple solutions which work with both. Some require some specific uh, details around the start or the end time. So in this case, for example, if we have the input is not sorted, it's not mentioned in the question anywhere. So since the input is not sorted, we will have to sort it. Uh, let's say we sort it on the start time. Okay. So now if we sort this input on the start time of the intervals, we would get 1, 2, 1, 3 and then the remaining two. Okay, so now uh, in order to find if there is an intersection or not, the most common way that we have used in all the other videos is to find that if I have interval 1 and interval 2, I see if the interval 2's start time is less than the interval 1's end time. If that is the case, then these are overlapping, right? Or they have an intersection. So here we just have to do one extra thing, which is to be able to remove the minimum number of intervals. So let's say if we do not, uh, why that's important is, for example, we have 1, 20, that's one interval. Then we have got, let's say, 2, 5, and then let's say 7, 9. So in this case, if we sort this on the start time, okay, um, and we just check, okay, is 2 less than 20? Yes, it is. So let me just remove this. Then I go over to this. Is 7 less than 20? Yes, it is. So I remove this as well. Okay. That is one answer, but that's not the correct answer because we removed two intervals, whereas we should have ideally removed 1, 20 and gotten these two in the, like basically just one as the output. That is, we should have removed only one interval. Right. So to make sure that this does not happen, when we are finding an overlap, so we have sorted them on the start time, we find an overlap that is 2 is less than 20. What we do is that we want to remove the interval which has a greater end time, in this case 20. So what we typically do is that we just, in the list, we just say, okay, if this is overlapping, I just want to make it 1, 5 instead of 1, 20. That is, I take the minimum of the end times of these intervals and I put that in my list. So now I have this in the list. Now 7, 9 comes in. 
there is no overlap in the two and I just put 7,9 in this list and I know that there were total three intervals and here I have two. So 3 minus 2 equals to 1. That is 1 is the number of intervals that I had to remove. Okay. So for example, let's um, say this was 4,9. Okay. So what would have happened is that this was would have again been an overlap. So we don't have any option uh, rather than removing two intervals over here. So we would have made this, this would have still remained 5 because 5 is the minimum of 5 and 9, right? But in the output, we would not have had put this. And at the end, we would have said, okay, 3 minus 2, sorry, 3 minus 1, so which is equal to 2. So I had to remove two intervals to make this non-overlapping. So that's pretty much the idea of this uh, question. Let's dive into solving this. Okay, so first of all, always remember to have some base conditions in check, uh, in check if the question doesn't already clarify them. It's always a good idea to ask the interviewer. So intervals dot length equals equals to zero. So this is the most basic base condition that you can put. Okay, now... Um, so yeah, we do have to sort this. So let's sort into wells. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so we need to give it a new comparator, which is, yeah. So we have to override the compare method. Um, yeah. And just return a of 0 minus b of 0 because we want to sort this, uh, these intervals on the start time and that too in the ascending order. So, yeah. Okay. Now, since the intervals is sorted for us now, uh, we just have to have a linked list. We can make use of a linked list. Linked list because so typically when you have to use uh, any kind of list to store your intermediate results, uh, I always prefer to go with linked list because it has got a variety of functions um, like being able to get the last one or being able to get the first one and being able to add to the last or to the first. So I think that's more efficient and it provides a wider array of functions to, to accommodate any question. So I think, yeah, that's... That's a good choice to go with, typically. Okay, so we have a linked list here. Okay, um, right. So first of all, let's just add the very first array already into this. Okay, yeah. Now we will... Uh, go through the intervals list and apply the logic that we just discussed. So let's start from one intervals dot length. Yeah. Okay. So the current is equals to interval of i. So i. Yeah. Okay, so we have to compare the last element of the list. Okay, so um, let's get that as well. Um, get last. And now we have to check if there is an intersection, right? So if last of one, that is its end time is greater than current start time. It means that there is an overlap, right? So in that case, I'll just say that, okay, last of one equals to, 
let me get the minimum. So since there is an intersection, we want to remove one of them. And we will remove the one that ends later. So that's why we just capture the minimum. So the minimum of last of one comma parent of one. Okay, so we just get the minimum. And uh, yeah. Okay. And we just add last. So yeah, before that, we also have to remove the last one first. So remove last and then just add last. Okay. Uh, if not, then we don't have any problem. We don't have any intersection, so we can just simply uh, do the result at current. Okay. Cool. So um, after all of this is done, we just have to return the intervals dot length. So the total number of intervals we originally had minus the result dot size because that's how many um, intervals we could retain. So the difference is basically telling us how many we have to remove. Okay. Mm, yeah. All right. That looks okay. Let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. Oops. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Should not have complained for that. Okay. Cool, that works. So the time complexity of the solution is because we are sorting the entire input array once, uh, it becomes O of n log n. And the space complexity here, um, let's see. So we are using a linked list to store the interval. So that also becomes O of n because we might end up storing all of the intervals in this if, for example, there's no intersection at all. So we're using this. That's why it becomes the space complexity of the solution becomes O of n. I hope you find this solution helpful. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Keep coding and take care, guys.